These ocean giants are some of the most magnificent creatures on the planet. The blue whale alone can grow up to 100 feet long, with a heart the size of a small car. They glide through the water with grace, but don't let their peaceful nature fool you, because they can swallow you whole. So what would happen if one of these behemoths accidentally swallowed you? Could you survive the trip through its enormous body? And more importantly, has anyone actually experienced this? Let's dive into the deep end and find out. Whales are huge, like mind-blowingly massive. If you've never seen one up close, it's hard to wrap your head around just how big they really are. Take the blue whale, for example, the heavyweight champion of the animal kingdom. Its tongue alone weighs as much as an elephant. Yes, you heard that right, a tongue the size of an elephant. And get this, its mouth could fit around 90 to 100 people. That's basically a small concert happening inside its jaws. But before you start worrying about being its next meal, relax. Blue whales can't actually swallow you whole, thanks to their anatomy. Their throats are too small. It's like having a huge mansion with a doggy door. They just can't fit you in. However, the real trouble comes from their smaller, but still terrifying cousins, the sperm whales. In 1891, a wild story came out about a man named James Bartley, who claimed to have been swallowed by one of these guys. According to the tale, a sperm whale attacked his ship and down the hatch he went. The crew managed to catch the whale the next day, and when they cut it open, surprise, James was still alive, but in rough shape. His skin was bleached white, and he was blind, thanks to the whale's stomach acid. Sound crazy? That's because it probably is. As time went on, people started poking holes in this story. I mean, if you get swallowed by a whale, isn't bleaching your skin the least of your worries? Science sure thinks so. So, let's break down what would actually happen if you were unfortunate enough to get gulped down by a whale. First up, the teeth. Sperm whales have some serious dental hardware. Each tooth is about 20 centimeters long. That's like the size of your kitchen's sharpest chef's knife. And they've got 40 to 50 of these bad boys. If, by some miracle, you dodge getting turned into human sushi, your next adventure is the slimy slide down its throat. Sound like you actually survived the most painful part, right? Wrong. The ride from here on out is nothing short of a nightmare. First of all, the whale's throat isn't a cozy water slide, it's more like a squishy pitch black tunnel of doom. As the throat muscles contract to push you down, it's gonna feel like you're stuck in a really tight, slimy and gross tube, and those muscles are squeezing the life out of you. And don't forget, there's barely any oxygen down here. You're trying to breathe, but all you're getting is a lungful of methane gas. Yep, whale farts. So now you're not only gasping for air, but you're also getting dizzy and nauseous from the smell. But wait, it gets worse. As you enter the stomach, you'll be greeted by some friendly stomach acid. Think of it like taking a bath in acid. Not exactly a relaxing spa day. The hydrochloric acid would burn your skin, starting off as an intense stinging and quickly turning into an agonizing sensation as it begins to melt your flesh. Yeah, this is the part where it's really going to hurt. Every inch of your skin would feel like it's on fire, and there's absolutely nothing you can do about it. Oh, and did I mention the crushing pressure? The deeper you go into the whale, the more intense the pressure gets. It's like having a hundred bricks stacked on your chest, making it even harder to breathe. So not only are you being digested alive, but you're also getting squeezed like a tube of toothpaste. As you get tossed from one stomach to the next, the acids and enzymes will keep working on breaking you down. By this point, you're in excruciating pain. Like, every nerve in your body is screaming in agony. You'd probably start losing consciousness from the sheer trauma of it all, which might actually be a blessing at this point. Because let's face it, the rest of this ride is a one-way trip to becoming whale poop. So yeah, to sum it up, the ride through a whale's digestive system would be one of the most painful experiences imaginable. It's not just gross and terrifying, it's a slow, burning, suffocating nightmare. Definitely not something you'd survive to tell the tale. Sorry again, James Bartley, but we're pretty sure you didn't go through this because that's not making any sense. But hey, as big and scary as they are, whales have zero interest in snacking on humans. If they could talk, they'd probably say something like, Humans? Nah, we're all about that squid life. But what if, instead of a whale finding you, it's a giant squid that comes looking for a meal? You know? Those deep-sea nightmares with tentacles longer than a school bus, and a beak sharp enough to crush bones? Getting wrapped up by one of those bad boys would make the whale ride look like a trip to Disneyland. 
But that's a story for another day.